next on All Access. This feels a lot more like the Patriots and organization are kind of setting up shop, establishing a foothold for going forward. You can feel that in the lead up to the game. You can feel it in the how we've been embraced by the folks in Germany. You're starting to foot off. The give now to Stevens. A big hole running to the right side across the 40. Outside oh. of the 45. Oh. Down the right oh. side. Past the defenders. Goodbye to the 25-20. To the 10. To the 5. End zone bound. Touchdown Patriots. Who take the lead? Kenny Moore who plays the nickel position. So, uh... He's the kind of the inside guy here in most of these formations and reading the routes, reading the progression, and uh, here he, you know, picks off an Aaron throw. So I need some tips of what it's like being down here. I just arrived, but what's it like? So I've, I've had some apple wine that they have, which is big here. You can also grab your Stein, get you some beer. Yes, I do. Uh, I've had some strudel, some schnitzel, the whole nine. So whatever, whatever you need, I can point you in the direction. A lot of good spots right here downtown. The Patriots team did touch down here in Frankfurt early this morning. They arrived and headed straight to the team hotel outside of town, where they will get acclimated, have some meetings, and join in a walkthrough later today. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Burton, and welcome to Frankfurt, Germany, where the Patriots will play their first game ever on German soil when they host the Indianapolis Colts on Sunday morning. We are here in the heart of Frankfurt in a place called Roma. But where exactly is Frankfurt, and how did we get here? Let's get a geography lesson and find out some fun facts about a city that has adopted the Patriots. The city of Frankfurt is located in western Germany and is around 260 miles away from the capital, Berlin. The city was first established way back in the year 794. It's the fifth most populous city in Germany, with 791,000 people which makes it a little bit larger than Boston, with its population of 675,000. The city is a mix of traditional and modern, with cathedrals and skyscrapers, sharing space along the River Main. Frankfurt Airport is one of the world's busiest and the main hub of the national carrier Lufthansa. The city is an important financial center for both Germany itself as well as the European Union, with its European Central Bank headquarters located there. And yes, Frankfurt is also famous for Frankfurters, a high quality sausage. This is the second year the NFL will be playing some regular season games in Germany. In 2022, the city of Munich hosted a game between the Tom Brady led Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Seattle Seahawks. Brady and the Bucks won 21 16. Last week, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Miami Dolphins 21-14 at Frankfurt Stadium, the same site that will host the Patriots and Colts this Sunday. Frankfurt Stadium is a 48,000-seat stadium with a retractable roof and is home to Eintracht, a team in Bundesliga, the top German soccer league. The NFL's current deal has the league playing a game once again in Munich in 2024 and another in 2025, likely to be in Frankfurt. Well, everybody, join me now is former Patriots defensive lineman Marcus Coon. You're a legend here. Well, in, in this country, I am, yes. <laughs> a legend. It looks like you can still play, my friend. Well, that's the problem. I think I should not look like I can still play anymore, but uh, thank, I, I think that's a compliment. Thank you. If I were to tell the 12-year-old Marcus Coon yes. that they'd be football, NFL yeah. football, yes. in Germany, yeah. would you believe it? No, because funny enough, the 12-year-old Marcus Coon was at his first ever football game at that stadium with my dad when the Galaxy played. And now, 15, no, 25? Oh my God, 25 years. 25 years 25 later? 25 years later, we actually have an NFL game in here and the Patriots are playing. I mean, it's unbelievable what's happening here. What does it mean to you and what does it mean to Germany? I mean, it's crazy. I mean, Germany loves American football. Five out of the six teams in NFL Europe, they were all in Germany when the league existed. And now, the, the, you know, the team has come back last year. You had 
you know, Brady coming playing Absolutely. in Munich. Now you have two teams playing this year. Now the Chiefs played last week. Now the Patriots are one of the most successful teams the last 20 years. And so they have a lot of followers in Germany. So I think primarily it means a lot for the fans in Germany because they've been following the Patriots for the last 20 years. Yeah, I was going to say, and how now, big is it? Yeah, now they get the reward. They finally get to mm -hmm. see their team and they finally get to see them play here in their in their home country. You and Seabass have been calling yes. games. Yes. What is that like? And, and how has it caught on yeah. here? The well, fans here. Yeah, well, Sebastian, not only you know, a star in Germany, but just from an offensive lineman or a football player perspective, I mean, a great, great player. Two-time right. Super Bowl champion with you guys. Uh, a lot better player than I've ever been. So he's obviously, he's done a lot for the sport in Germany. So it's great for him and his team to come back over here. He's actually... Look at these fans, There you right? go. There you he's, go. Yeah, he's actually broadcasting the game on Sunday as well. So it's exciting, you know, for, for everybody in Germany and kind of how far the sport has come overall. Uh, you, you've been eating pretty good. I, so I want to know what to eat when yes. I, to, to bulk up like you. Yeah, well, I, I, well, I was just at my mom's house, which usually doesn't help, because she lives half an hour south of here. She does. Uh, so, so I had all the cold cuts you can possibly imagine. But for you, I would say you is you're in Frankfurt. Yeah. Kartoffeln und grüne Soße is something you have to try. It's just, oh, it's, what was that? Yeah, it's potatoes with the green sauce and I a got fried egg on top. Ooh. And I think it's probably one of the more healthiest dishes you can eat in Germany. But other than that, Schweinshaxe schnitzel. Uh, any 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 meat that that the, that the pork <laughs> serves you uh, is is probably a good bet you can have. But um, yeah, you should you should maybe just ask the waiter what's your favorite dish and go for that one. Message to Patriots fans: Go ahead and give it. Please tune in in the U.S. It's an early game for you, but guess what? The Patriots have done a lot for the football development in Germany, and now it's finally time that they're playing here. Tune in in New England or in Germany, and it's going to be a blast. Get a man. Thank you. Marcus Kuna, I guess we'll be back with more no, Patriots All Access right after this from Germany. Let's go. Let's go. Coming up on All Access. The Patriots are excited for a change of scenery. This game is going to take me to a foreign country in Germany. Pretty special. Later, go behind the scenes as years of planning culminate in this week's trip to Germany. The fans realize how much work the Patriots have done to benefit them. It's still the number one team, always has, and hopefully always will be. You're watching Patriots All Access. Patriots All Access is brought to you by Bank of America, the official bank of the New England Patriots. And by Ace Ticket, where New England fans go for tickets to all their favorite events. Visit aceticket.com. And by AdCare. Be recovery strong. Speak up and reach out. Ask for help. Call AdCare at 800-ALCOHOL. The banks and the skyscrapers have formed an unusual skyline here in Frankfurt, which is why some have nicknamed this city, Manhattan. Welcome back to Patriots All Access, presented by GEICO. I'm Steve Burton. Maybe being 3,700 miles away from Foxville is just what the doctor ordered for the Patriots, as the Pats are coming off another one-score loss and find themselves looking up at the rest of the AFC East. Let's take a look back at the sights and sounds from the Commanders game. to Howell with a given a run up the middle and a cross the Close up. 30. We got it. We got 25, it. 25, a fumble. Oh, the ball is recovered by the Patriots. Tavai punches this out. That's smart play by him with the right hand. Knocks it right out. So it's all outside type winning play. 
takes the snap, dropping back, stands in, throws a high ball toward him in the end zone, makes the catch, touchdown, Patriots! Oh. Ready to finish it off, man. to go, no timeouts left. Second down and eight. Chuck and snap to Jones. He's dropping back. He throws across the middle. Pass is knocked away and then intercepted. Off the deflection. And now they leave in dejection again as the Patriots fall by the 2017 final score. This is a business trip. No sightseeing on the itinerary. Can the Patriots, most of whom have never even been to Europe, get a W here in Germany? Dan Roach has more. For most of these players, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, getting to play an NFL game outside of the United States as a member of the New England Patriots. It's pretty crazy, a game that I played, you know, just as a little kid, just even in the front or backyard, um, just having fun running around. But this game is going to take me to a foreign country in Germany to play a football game um, at the you know highest level, so pretty special. It's exciting. It's a cool opportunity. Um, you know, someone who loves the game, obviously it grows the game. It's great for the game. It's, it's cool, right? I mean, it's a great opportunity for us to go out there and um, play the game that we love, you know, and in, in front of a you know different crowd. And I'm definitely looking forward to it. Germany is known for its unique cuisine, including bratwurst. So we informed the quarterback that the record for most eaten in a 10 minute span is 76. Yeah, I don't know if I can get that. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, probably David. That was good. <laughs> Meanwhile, quarterback JC Jackson did not travel with the team for off the field reasons. You know, I think the biggest thing is being committed to being committed to the team, you know, and I think that's always something I've tried to preach and you know, live by the team comes first. Also not with the team, offensive line coach Adrian Clem, who is dealing with a health issue. Definitely thinking about AK and, you know, we all have things that, you know, happen and, and you know, sometimes getting in the football building and it's football, football, and there's still life going on outside. And, you know, it is what it is. You have to deal with it. You have to move on and keep moving. And um, definitely thoughts and prayers with AK. Now the Patriots can become the first NFL team to start their international play with four straight wins. They won in London in 2009 and 2012 and in Mexico in 2017. For Patriots All Access, I'm Dan Roach. Congratulations to Bob Almeida of Stoneham High School, who has been selected as our High School Coach of the Week. After an 0-4 start to the season, the Spartans battled back into postseason contention with four straight wins. This week, they knocked off favored Abington to advance in the Division VI playoffs. Presenting the award is Patriots and Pro Football Hall of Famer Andre Tippett. Football doesn't build character, it reveals character. 
the Patriots Charitable Foundation will award a $1,000 donation to the Stoneham High School football program in the name of Bob Almeida. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Such a great group of young men. These guys never stop believing in themselves. Spartans! What is your profession? Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back to Patriots All Access. Time to sit down and talk to Coach Belichick here uh, with the team head to Germany. Coach, before we get to the game in Germany against the Colts, I saw the film last week and I heard a couple of your press conferences. Opportunities that were there for your team to make. Uh, is that pretty much what was cemented for you when you watched the film? That you had chances in that game? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, against Washington, this is, um, you know, multiple times has come up this year, you know, had the ball at the end of the game, chance to, you know, yeah. chance to move it and, you know, end up not doing it and just, Missed opportunities on uh, defense, kicking game. Uh, just you know, just got to play more consistently in those critical situations and take advantage of other opportunities for big plays during the during the rest of the course of the game. Is there something that shows up consistently on film when you go over that? Because I've been around you a long time. I've been in those meeting rooms. You guys don't coach it that way. You don't coach giving up third downs. You don't coach the penalties the way you know some of the penalties are called. And I know the game has changed a little bit, but is there something that's recurring that? You say, man, we got We got We got to correct this one thing. Yeah, no, I mean, I, w I wish I could say yes, yeah. but it's. Uh, you have that answer. It's been a, you know, uh, some multiples, and in the end, we just have to do a better job of, of coaching it and and um, and and executing it. We played the Colts over the years. Here come the Colts. Got them uh, on a neutral site, sort of. I know it's a home game for us, but Gardner Minshew. What do you what do you see when you when you turn on the film and you see what he's doing with what they're doing? Is it the Philadelphia Eagles offense for the past? Yeah, sure is. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and he's uh, familiar with that and does a good job operating it. Um, you know, good thrower, aggressive guy. You know, pretty athletic. All right, international game. We've been in Mexico City, been in London a couple times with you guys. Business trip, not a lot of sightseeing. Have you ever been to Germany before? I have. Yes. Oh, you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, beautiful, pretty beautiful country. Yeah, beautiful yeah. country. Very uh, clean, friendly, and um, yeah, it's not a nice spot. You've had a couple of players too: Sebastian Vollmer, Seabass, uh, Jakob Johnson. Uh, you know, who had a great opportunity for you, got him going in the league. How much have you talked to those guys about? You know, them accepting the way the Germans have accepted sort of the, the American sport of football. Yeah, Marcus Kuhn too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's been, right. Yeah. Yeah, I've been very uh, fortunate to have those guys. Yeah, they're they're, they're great. They obviously love the sport and love to you know take it back to their home country. And uh, I know Marcus and and Seabass uh, yeah. can speak some German and <laughs> and uh, they've talked to me a little bit in German. I don't know what they're saying. Probably cussing me out, but uh, that's right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> bilingual. Logistics on game day. Um, game day is always different because you get into a new, a new place. Um, I know they have the retractable sort of tent awning at the beginning, uh, at the top of the stadium. But the scoreboard is lower, I, I guess, from reading some things. Um, how much do you have to concern yourself with preparation, getting early, seeing the sight lines, so to speak? Quarterbacks, you know, you got to see where the play clock is and all that. Yeah, well, we'll we'll work out there uh, Saturday before the game, so give us a chance to. Look over the venue and get uh, you know a little bit familiar with the you know the field and the situation. All right, sounds good. All right, time now for the Ace Ticket Twitter question of the week, and it comes from at B Walsh twenty six, talking about the new the new way kickoffs are covered. You guys through nine games have covered eleven kickoffs. You've returned just seven of them. Do you see that trend in the National Football League to where they're not trying to phase the play out, but unless you intentionally kick that thing down around the five or goal line, no one's really bringing it out. Yeah, that's right. And some teams like uh, Washington last week, they haven't had a kickoff return against them all year. So over halfway through the year and not one kickoff return. So, um, you know, the kickers are getting stronger and yeah. and, uh, and with the fair catch and all that, the hanging it up isn't uh, kind of, I don't know if it's worth the time investment that it used to be worth. So uh, people are just banging them away now. So it's uh, become uh, really kind of a non-play. Everybody's building these domes. So it's indoors, right? Too. <laughs> yeah, it makes better for yeah. the kicker. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so the dome teams that we've seen, uh, Dallas and yeah. uh, Vegas, and you know, Miami's not a dome team, but warm right. weather team, and they just they bang it. They're not into the end zone. It's usually, it's through. We'll the be end in zone. Denver too, where the ball travels, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. If you want to ask the coach a question, you have to follow the team on Twitter at Patriots hashtag at SBB Bellistrator later in the show. Take a look at them on defense, right? They 
Buckner is still there. He's yeah, he a good is. Player yeah, for them. I think we did him last year, but uh, yeah. yeah, he's a force for them, and uh, they had a big day against Carolina. All right, we'll have the Bell Strader for you coming up soon, but first, more Patriots All Access will return right after this. Coming up on All Access. Look who we ran into in Frankfurt. Oh, well, I knew I'd be here. I didn't know I'd be running in to you on this random day, but it's good to see a familiar face. But first, a behind-the-scenes look at the preparations for this week's game. If you can show the people really what it means to be at a game, to feel the game, that's what our goal is. You're watching Patriots All Access. Patriots All Access is brought to you by Putnam Investments. Putnam Investments and the New England Patriots, proud partners committed to an active game plan on the field and off. By Gillette Labs with Exfoliating Bar, Gillette's ultimate shaving experience. And by Dan O'Brien Auto. Come in to any Dan O'Brien Auto Group store today and get your awesome protection plan. Keeping it awesome. This profile is brought to you by Pepsi. In this episode of Do Your Job, presented by Salesforce, we take you behind the scenes as the Patriots gear up to go to Germany. The Patriots will be taking on the Indianapolis Colts in Week 10 this season from Frankfurt, Germany. We started broadcasting our games back to Germany in 2016. Oh! Wir haben auch gleich den Fokus etwas mehr auf unser RTL-Spiel legen, auf die Partie, die Bills gegen die Patriots. This is our fourth international trip, twice to London. In the pocket, fires to the end zone, and it is caught, touchdown. <laughs> and guess what he did? He said it's time to change the guards. Let's go, Pats! Let's go, Pats! Let's go, Pats! Once to Mexico. Bienvenidos al Estadio Azteca en la Ciudad de Mexico. And Lobs will go down the right side for a wide open Cooks. Catches at the 30th drive. Adios to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots! Whereas the other games were just oh, kind of a one and done. You go play the game and, you're, and you go home. Uh, this feels a lot more like the Patriots and organization are kind of setting up shop uh, in Germany, establishing a foothold for going forward. You can feel that in the lead up to the game. You can feel it in the how we've been embraced by the folks in Germany. This is a game a decade in the making. For 10 years, the Patriots have been Germany's team. Thanks to Mr. Kraft. We have been on the forefront of putting the brand out there. Nine. <laughs> the fans realize how much work the Patriots have done to benefit them. It's still the number one team, always has and hopefully always will be. Also, ganz wichtig. Komm, mal weg. Nicht, Leute. <laughs> Nicht umschalten, uh, Sebastian, oder was kommt denn sonst noch? Was kommt noch? Yeah, Marcus, I've been doing the preseason here for the Patriots for the last six or seven years. I mean, nothing against preseason, but it's preseason, right? And they are still watching it on their computer. It's 4 a.m. and they're, you know, it's a Thursday, they have to go to work, and they're still doing it. Oh, Oh, yeah, they are stoked to be in Germany for the Patriots. I think um, with the rich history we have, the many titles the Patriots won, I think it's one of the greatest teams coming over to, to Germany. I think he changed a bit. Uh, seeing him when he, when he played, he looked different. And now he has a, often he wears like a suit and had his beard grown. Um, but people, they know him. Selecting offensive lineman Sebastian Vollmer in the second round of the 2009 NFL Draft did more than just protect Tom Brady. The German native represented instant credibility to a fan base craving American football. 
he's great with, with everyone, with the fans, showed him the ring, stuff like that. People actually were able to wear the ring to have a player from the country you're in um, being successful in the sport because that's like, yeah, he's an advocate for the sport itself and having him now on camera as an expert in our broadcasts, uh, I think is a great way to, to bring the sport to Germany. Between Bill and between Cram. That's what they've done for 20 years, so that there's a paper on the paper, how can it be? I think that the sin behind it is that the actual sum... The people are willing to suffer. They are willing to not sleep. Uh, the big fans, they watch um, many games also from 2 in the night until whatever time. RKK, the announcement was made yesterday that the Patriots will be taking on the Indianapolis Colts in Week 10 this season from Frankfurt, Germany. This is the first time NFL games will be played in Frankfurt. What was your reaction when you heard your team would be one of four teams playing over there this season? We were really excited to have this opportunity. We started broadcasting uh, games back to Germany in 2016, and um, it really has made a big difference. While the announcement was anticipated, the reaction was overwhelming. Over three million tickets were requested and sold out in less than 30 minutes. With Deutsche Bank Stadium, with a capacity at over 40,000, and fans allowed to buy up to four tickets, less than 1.6% of ticket requests were satisfied. Well, it just expands our fan base. My friends in the ticket business told me they could have sold two million tickets more if they had the capacity. So it's very exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. How you say hello? Guten Tag. Guten Tag. German-based media traveled to the States, eager to build on the momentum, bringing Patriot stories and content across the Atlantic. The appetite is quite big. I think you saw last year the game in Munich, you had over a million ticket requests, and this year two games in Frankfurt, over three million ticket requests. And I think that speaks for itself, kind of how big the interest really is. German soccer tends to be a bit boring because always the same teams win and I think the Germans love that about American football that it's a pretty yeah it's a fair game and you have different teams every year that shine and uh, are able to win the championship and I think all the entertainment around it now you have the Taylor Swift thing that pays into it as well. Okay on to Germany. For months behind the scenes football operations have been going through meetings planning for this unique road trip. Hotel we're all set there. In the hotels close to the um, practice facility. I think team arrival process is going to be relatively smooth. I'm trying to source as many items as possible either directly there in Germany or we're trying to utilize companies that have specific licenses to ship overseas. We have our uh, things that were shipped uh, months ago, literally on a ship. So the majority of the things that are going to be shipping over are going to be more dining related and then also like just, just like training training related so like tapes and Gatorade and waters and all that. Drei Spiele an diesem Sonntag. Dreimal wartet heute ein Divisionsduell auf uns. Wir freuen uns sehr, dass ihr mit dabei seid und wir freuen uns gleich auf die Partie die Bills gegen die Patriots. In the build up to Sunday's Patriots Colts game, German TV network RTL organized their pregame show from Gillette Stadium. Hallo nach Foxborough. <laughs> Stefan Dix. Stefan Dix oder John Allen. Ich glaube, wir haben sogar Second Pick. Das heißt, die, die Amis werden John Allen nehmen. Ja. Wir können Stefan Dix nehmen. Ja. Ja. Wenn das geht, also geht wobei in Game. We are here we are in Foxborough with our 50 um, people crew. Being at the game, being close to the players, having our presenters right next to the entrance where the players come, there are flames. You can't transport this from a, from a studio all the time. So if you are on site, if you can show the people really what it means to be at a game, to feel the game, that's what our goal is. These old photos we doch better noch mal nach Foxborough and holen uns da noch mal eine Stimmung kurz vor Kickoff ab. Die Züge würden vielleicht gerade noch mal so klappen. Als Speed, Speedbomb. Das würde ich einfach hinlegen, vielleicht fällt jemand um. Okay. What we do is, you know, we support the coaches and the players. The idea of going overnight Thursday night into Friday is to get most of our football preparation done here in Foxborough. Practice here Wednesday, Thursday, then go overnight Friday, 
have a kind of acclimation day Friday afternoon and Saturday, walk through at the stadium Saturday and be ready to go by Sunday. For the most part, we try to keep it as standard as possible. That's our jobs, so everybody else can focus on football. Welcome back to Pages All Access. We are in downtown Frankfurt, Germany, and you just never know who you're going to run into. Jason McCourty. Hey, how you doing, man? Good, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. It's good to see you. Who knew? I know, I know, I know. Well, I knew I'd be here. I didn't know I'd be running in to you on this random day, but it's good to see a familiar face. All right, uh, give me some hints. So I need some tips of what it's like being down here. I just arrived, but... What's it like? So I've, I've had some apple wine that they have, which is big here. You can also grab you a stein, get you some beer. Yes, I do. Uh, I've had some strudel, some schnitzel, the whole nine. Schnitzel. So whatever, whatever you need, I can point you in the direction. A lot of good spots right here downtown. No, you were here last week yeah. for the Chiefs game, right? Yeah, it was awesome. A huge turnout. Stadium was absolutely packed. It was loud. They were cheering the whole time. So we had an amazing game last week. I'm expecting the same with the Pats and the Colts to be a really good game and expecting a lot of fans out here. Yeah, you know what Patriots fans are yeah. like, and you know how they travel. Yeah. Expect it to be packed? I, I'm expecting that. I think not only do they travel well, but I think there's a fan base here in Germany that loved the New England Patriots. Really? I think way back when they first started showing football here, you had the Seahawks that were really good. Mm -hmm. You had the Patriots on the other side that were really good. I think it made a lot of the fans here. What's the stadium like? Oh, it's awesome. So if I had to give you a, a kind of reflection or somewhere to look at, similar to SoFi in, a, in the fact that there's open air on the side, there's a cover up top, but it's not a dome. So it's going to be pretty chilly. It's probably going to be in the 40s, so make sure you dress warm. But it's a really nice stadium, really cool, intimate. Tell me about the people here, the people you run into. It's, it's it, uh, similar to being in the Northeast. Uh, everybody's nice, but no one's looking to stop you and start talking to you. Everybody's just strolling around, going about their business. So it's very similar to the Northeast, I would say. All right, my friend. Well, it's expecting a pretty good game? I am. I'm expecting a really good game. I think, uh, obviously, the Colts are still playing to keep their playoff hopes alive. And for the New England Patriots, this is kind of rock bottom that we've seen from, since Bill Belichick has been there. So I think they're going to see a team that's fighting and clawing to get out of the negative negativity that's been strolling around. Any message to your brother? Uh, just continue to try to be more like me and <laughs> continue to, to search in all your endeavors to be more like me. So Best food I should have? Schnitzel. You're here. you got to embrace it. What is it? I don't know. But try it and have it. There you go. I gotta ask you this, Jason. Yeah. You're doing the game on Sunday. Mm -hmm. That means you got a production meeting. Yeah. That means you got a production meeting with your former head coach. <laughs> what in the heck is that gonna be like? Uh, oh, that, that's probably what I've been most nervous about. Not even the game on Sunday. It's just a production meeting with Bill. I think my opener might be, uh, did he hand out full size or small size candy bars for Halloween? That might be, <laughs> that might be my opening question to him uh, to see where we go from there. So. Good luck, my friend. <laughs> Appreciate it. With the game on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now it's time for the Bellistrator. Welcome back to Patriots All Access. Time now for the Bellistrator. Coach, we've got some good looks at the defense here. Starting with Buckner up front. He's beast. He is. Uh, they had a big day against Carolina. And, uh, you know, it's not all pass rush. Uh, here he is. He plays the three techniques. That puts him uh, in the guard tackle gap here. And... See, so kind of, you know, penetrate, slide through there, tackle for a loss, creates long yardage, and then then he rushes the passer on third down. So uh, this sim right here, you know, he's kind of got that narrow stance, and uh, really he's long. He's got really long arms. Looks long like he's levers. blocked it right off the top of it too. It, yeah, they yeah. double team him, and he kind of, you know, is able to, you know, use his quickness there to get out of it and big tackle for a loss. So that brings up third down, and. Uh, it almost looks like it's him on the nose now, so he's in kind of the center guard gap here. And it's not really a diamond front, right? That's sort no, of that, overloaded one yeah, way. That's right. They're all overloaded there. But if you look at his get off here, his and again, Carolina's playing at home, so uh, you know there's no you know, no advantage there for the visiting um, 
Cole team, but you see uh, Buckner's get off there. He's how quick he is off the ball. He reaches that long, you know, right arm, grabs the shoulder of the center, and he's by him, and uh, you know, Young has no chance. So. Yeah, no chance there. So, so. he's pretty. He's pretty mobile quarterback too. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, hard to get away from this guy. You know, six six, whatever he is, and long arms. Uh, but here he is again. Uh, again, he's got that, you know, elongated stance and very, very quick to, you know, grab that center shoulder there. Sort of doubled again. By him and, yeah. And oops, there it is. So, and with the pass rush, uh, they force some, uh, you know, force some throws here uh, from Young under pressure and uh, Kenny Moore, who plays the nickel position. So uh, corner, corner, safety, safety. He's the kind of the inside guy here in most of these formations and. Uh, does a good job in these kind of you know short to intermediate zones, reading the uh, reading the routes, reading the progression, and uh, here he you know picks off an errant throw. Um, one of his two pick sixes for the day. I mean he had, two. A, he had a big day. So no chance right there too. He put the ball out the flat, lob it up like that. That thing's going the other way. Yeah, can't do that. All right, good luck in Germany. All right, thanks. All right, so. There All you right. go. Hey, uh, watch us in Germany. We're gonna have some fun over there. Uh, more Patriots All Access. We'll return right after this as your goal Patriots All Access is brought to you by Bank of America, the official bank of the New England Patriots, and by Putnam Investments. Putnam Investments and the Patriots, proud partners committed to an active game plan on the field and off. gone international. While the Patriots are away, be sure to follow the Patriots Germany account to see all the things that are happening in Frankfurt. As well as this video that was shot before we left of our Patriots content team trying to see how well they know German vocabulary. German. <laughs> Deutschland? Deutschland. 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 Do you know which year the Berlin Wall was torn down? Oh, 1992. Um, uh, is it 89? Pat Patriot and the New England Patriots cheerleaders arrived a week early to help kick off the first ever NFL games in Frankfurt, Germany, and start getting Patriots Nation ready for the upcoming week. If you're wondering what events are happening leading up to the game in Frankfurt, former Patriot and German native Sebastian Vollmer has you covered. Hey Patriots fans, my name is Sebastian Vollmer, and if you want to have a chance to take a picture of these Super Bowl trophies, we'll come to Germany. That's it for this week's Social Media Minute. See you back in Foxborough next week. Welcome back to Patriots All Access. We are here in Frankfurt, Germany, on the Eisner Stake Bridge on the Main River. And we couldn't get Mike uh, Reese, so we got Mike Dussault along with Paul Perillo. Good to see you guys. Any Mike in a storm. Any yeah, Mike in a storm. That's exactly right. Hey, what's the week been like? What's the atmosphere been like? You know, it's been a little bit different. Uh, I think there's been a lot of football, a lot of Patriots fans, Mike. I know it's the Patriots home market, so it makes sense that uh, a lot of New Englanders have come, uh, you know, over here to, to take in this game. But I think there's been a, a pretty good, hearty atmosphere. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of just different atmosphere, you know, just to get away from New England, get away from Foxborough, get into the city here. Totally different. Had a chance to check everything out, restaurants and the sites. And it seems like football fever's here in Frankfurt. I mentioned this was a business trip for the Patriots. And you know what? Have they hit rock bottom? Because this is an important game for them. Yeah, it is a business trip. And, um, you know, you, it, you have to hope, Steve, that, that it's been rock bottom. You know, they've had a couple of the games that a lot of people, myself included, thought were winnable games. They haven't been able to, to find a way to come out on top. So I think this is another opportunity. I think, like Mike said, it's, you know, the home market and, and sort of the atmosphere here, I think, is lending itself to more of a Patriots kind of a crowd. They have to build on that momentum, though. They have to make sure that last week was rock bottom. Yeah, that's what I like, Steve. You get to get here, reset a little bit. You know, get away from the routine, the yeah. usual, break it up a little bit. But I just think it's a great opportunity for the Patriots. You've got a couple games, as Paul said, teams that you can beat uh, here. You've got a bye week coming up as well. So I think you leave it all out on the field this week and see what happens. This is not the Patriots' first rodeo. They've played international games before. Having said that, do they have an advantage over a team that's uh, – with a first-year coach. Yeah, you know, and I do think that that gives, you know, Bill Belichick has been around. He's been in a lot of different uh, experiences, whether it be Super Bowl weeks or, you know, Mexico City, a couple of trips to London. I do think that gives the Patriots a little bit of an edge. 
uh, you know, Shane Steichen, first year head coach, hasn't really been through these kinds of things. The team itself, a lot of the Patriots players have been through these kinds of, uh, you know, experiences. Mm -hmm. Is it a major factor? Probably not, but I do think it's a little bit of an edge. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, you saw the other teams, Miami and Kansas City, play here last right. week. You set things up a little bit. Maybe you got a little bit of a sense of how things were going to go. But, uh, you know, I just think the Patriots, they come here, they've got a chance to just hit the reset button a little bit in this in Frankfurt. All right, so after they press reset, Prediction time. What's going to happen? Yeah, I'm going to make sure that you're happy with me because we're, you know, we're overseas, yes! Steve. I know sometimes you get upset when I don't always pick the home team, but I do think this is a good spot for the Patriots to sort of bounce back. I think it was rock bottom uh, against mm -hmm. Washington. I don't think it'll be easy. I think the Colts, have, you know, have some, you know, Jonathan Taylor, Zach Moss, they have a good ground game. I, I think Gardner Minshew is one of those backups, Mike, that can kind of scare you either yeah. way. Depends on who you're rooting for. Yeah. He's a gunslinger. I think he makes a couple of mistakes. Patriots 20 to 17. Yeah, I like it. I'm a similar line as Paul. I'd also just point out on the defense. DeForest, Buckner, Keddy Moore, a couple playmakers you got to be careful of, but I like the Patriots too in this one. I think they can pull it out. I'm going to say Patriots 27-21. All right, guys, we will see if they can get it done. Steve lets us back on the plane now because <laughs> yeah, we picked the right team. Exactly. All right, thank you very much. Well, that will do it for this week's edition of Patriots All Access. For Mike Dussault <laughs> and Paul Perillo, I'm Steve Burton saying so long from Frankfurt, Germany. <laughs>